Hi, Mr. Richards. Here today's grade six practice problems review is on unit four, lesson nine, how much in each group, part two. A group of friends is sharing two and a half pounds of berries. If each friend receives five-fourths of a pound of berries, how many friends are sharing the berries? Well, let's look at A here. And if we draw a diagram here, where the whole thing is two and a half. This is the same thing, by the way. If you were to take the two, that's four halves, plus the one half is five halves. Now, five halves is the same thing. It's equivalent to ten fourths. And so with those being equivalent fractions, if each friend receives five-fourths pounds of berries, let's see how many different groups of five-fourths we can make. Well, if I take five-fourths and another five-fourths, that is equal to our ten-fourths, which is five-halves, which is two-and-a-half. A lot of words there just to say that there are two friends sharing the berries. Now, if I was sponsored by Sherry's Berries, I could, you know, have a sharing Sherry's Berries thing here, but I'm not. So, why I mentioned it and why I'm not taking this out of the video, that's a great question, too. If five friends are sharing the berries, how many pounds of berries does each friend receive? Now, let's start off with something very, very similar here. That's not what we wanted to do. That's a little better. Excuse my sniffles. This is, again, still two and a half pounds, which is five halves. Five halves. Five friends. Hmm. One, two, three, four lines gives me five friends. And each of these is going to be, let's see, one half. Because one half, two halves, three halves. Four halves, five halves. So how much does each friend get? Half of a pound. Could really go for some berries right now. Question two. Two-fifths kilogram of soil fills one-third of a container. Can one kilogram of soil fit into the container? Explain or show your reasoning. I love pictures. I mean, pictures of families, pictures of nature, but pictures of fractions also help too. Let's imagine this is our soil, all right? And think through this, a third of the container. So if we divide this into thirds, where you have you know, a third of the container here, another third of a container here, and another third of the container there, that's three thirds of the container. What have we done? What have we done so far is filled up a third of it. And this is two-fifths kilograms of soil. Okay. Well, if two-fifths fills up one-third, we can assume that another two-fifths will fill up that third, and another two-fifths will fill up that third. So what do we have so far? We have two-fifths plus two-fifths plus two-fifths. That is the same thing as six-fifths. Well, six-fifths is bigger than one, since one is, remember, just five-fifths. So our final solution here is, well, yes. Basically, when we take two-fifths and divide it by one-third, we got six-fifths, and since six-fifths is bigger than one, we can fit more than one kilogram. Numeral trace. After raining for three-fourths of an hour, a rain gauge is two-fifths filled. If it continues to rain at that rate for 15 more minutes, ooh, hours and minutes all mixed together, woohoo, what fraction of the rain gauge will be filled? 
To help answer this question, Diego wrote the division equation 3 fourths divided by 2 fifths equals no. Oh. Explain why this equation does not represent the situation. There's a couple different explanations. I think the easiest explanation is this. 3 fourths of an hour is equal to 45 minutes. 2 fifths is less than halfway full. So if we continued at this rate, another 15 minutes isn't going to fill up the entire rain gauge. And when you take 3 fourths and divide it by 2 fifths, you're going to get something that's greater than 1 because you're taking 3 fourths and dividing by a smaller number. And so it does not represent the situation. And then B, a division equation, a division equa uh, there we go, a multiplication and division equation that represents the situation. Well, you could say, I'm taking the two fifths. It rained for two fifths, or it filled up two fifths, and it rained for three fourths of an hour. So if I'm looking for my rate, I'm really looking for that two fifths filled divided into the three fourths of an hour. In other words, three fourths times what is equal to two fifths. Our review question, three tickets to the museum cost $12.75. At this rate, what is the cost of one ticket and B, five tickets? Well, set up first, $12.75 divided by the three tickets or over the three tickets. And if you just divide by three on the top and bottom here, you end up with $4.25 for one ticket. And so that's our solution for A, $4.25 for one ticket. Now, what about five tickets? Well, if you know that it costs $4.25 for one ticket, all we need to do now is multiply our top and bottom here by five. And once you do that, $4.25 times five is $21.25 for those five tickets. It's amazing, once you get those unit rates, what you can truly do with these to get our solutions. Another review question, Elena went 60 meters in 15 seconds. Noah went 50 meters in 10 seconds. Elena and Noah both moved at a constant speed. So we're going to figure out first how far did Elena go in one second before we do anything else. Well, 60 meters in 15 seconds. If we divide our top and bottom here by 15, this would be 4 meters per 1 second. And so that's Elena. Elena went 4 meters in 1 second. Now what about our other friend here, Noah? Noah traveled 50 meters in 10 seconds. And so if we divide by the 10 here on top and bottom, we shall get 5 meters in 1 second. So for Noah, we're at 5 meters per second. Answer the question, who went faster, explain or show your reasoning. Well, we already explained and showed how to get 4 meters per second and 5 meters per second. Well, 5 meters per second, you're going faster than 4 meters per second, so we're going to say Noah, oops, let's try to use the pen here instead. Noah went faster because 5 meters per second is greater than 4 meters per second. Let's continue on to our last question here. The first row on the table shows a recipe for one batch of trail mix. Complete the remaining rows for recipes for two, three, 
and four batches of the same type of trail mix. Well, two times two here is four, then two times three is six, and two times four is eight. One third times two is two thirds. Well, let's see if we can rewrite that a little nicer here. Two thirds, there we go. One third times three is three thirds, which is the same thing as one. One third times four, th four is four thirds, or one and a third. Try to use fractions for these, let's not use decimals, all right? One half times two, I'm sorry, one fourth, getting ahead of myself, times two is two fourths, which is the same thing as one half. One fourth times three is three fourths, and one fourth times four is four fourths, which is the same thing as one. That is it for this grade six practice problems review on unit four, lesson nine, on how much in each group, part two. Good luck.